Uh, this is the pretty much right here what I ordered. Uh, no type of like serious lag or anything like that. Another YouTube video man and today we got a bang for your book item that I found that I've been seeing trending on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. Um, just been looking at reviews for this item and uh, I'm gonna put it on the screen right here which model I have just so you guys you know if you're tuning in if it's the exact one so I don't waste your time you guys can just see if it matches up to yours but um, anyways um, I'm gonna be putting this obviously on my 2000 Mustang right here so you know any 9904 Mustang owners, um, I'm gonna be able to help you out with, I guess, the different harnesses and adapters that you need to convert your exact stock one to a uh, double din one. If you don't already, I mean, it's 2022. I think a lot of people have already upgraded. You know, all these cars are really, really old. But um, I mean, if you if you still haven't done it, um, I have a double din in mind, so I already have the adapters. I can just go ahead and put them on the screen uh, when you know that time comes. But I'm gonna move the car really quick. I'm gonna position the car in the center of the garage and um, you know show you guys what we have and the adapters I got and stuff like that. Alrighty guys, so here is the product finally. Um, uh, this is the pretty much right here what I ordered, the, the Corherin um, setup. Um, it has obviously it already saying that it has the the Apple Play and uh, I think it's the Android CarPlay so obviously you can see it right here on the screen um, I've seen a lot of good things about it on TikTok like I said and pretty much yeah I had these old speakers right here laying around for like almost like two years I have not installed them they're same exact size that they're replacing on the the stock um, the stock uh, speakers so if we get a chance we'll probably do that um, and uh, the reason why I never installed them too because I didn't have uh, these connectors right here. I finally found which ones are uh, or which ones they were um, to, to just just snap into the stock harness and then just you know put these ends on each side so you don't have to do a lot of splicing and, and uh, pretty much cut into your to your uh, speaker harness and stuff like that and it gets the, the max connection. So uh, it's pretty dope. So here we are with this. Um, we're gonna pretty much take it apart. Like I said, I keep hearing good things about it, so let's try it out, man. Let's let's go take apart our other one and match the harnesses and what we need to do, and we'll test it out for you guys. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off right here. Alrighty, so this is obviously my old unit right here. So let's just you know take this apart. out right here so um, pretty much yeah these are the two harnesses that you're gonna need um, obviously I didn't just barely buy them because obviously I already have a doubled in but um you know, so we'll just go ahead and unplug it so the two stock cables right here that go into your radio so these two different ones right here are the ones that you're gonna need and I can put that right here on the screen um, so pretty much yeah, let's just take this off Go ahead and uh, start transferring these cables and matching up the colors. Alrighty guys, so here we have the other harness right here all matched up and taped up. Um, we got obviously this other, uh, the two harnesses that we that we need for the car. Um, so let's go, uh, I guess, put this in really quick and see if we get power. My, my nephew over here uh, test it out and see what he thinks about the unit from someone else's perspective and then after this I'll just show you guys what um, I guess what I do like about it and then what I do not like about it after experiencing it for uh, uh, about like two days and stuff like that cruising around town and stuff like that so let's get into it okay so here I'm turn on the car really quick all right Alrighty, so it is loading up. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, my compressors are over here uh, kicking in on for my airlift. 
but um, pretty much yeah um, right when it starts up um, the radio obviously does turn on um, so pretty much you want to you want to plug in the the Apple CarPlay which activates it is when um, you plug it into your phone and and you pretty much uh, oh shit and you put it back in the cord in here and then it activates Alrighty, so we're in the car right now. I guess showing you guys how it just no, would normally be just driving um, with the head unit. Um, here it is, the cap, Apple CarPlay loading up. Pretty much just uh, if I can go in really quick and. Obviously, um, he has more apps than what I had, so there's obviously there's certain apps that are able to, you know, like you guys can probably just search up the, you know, the apps that are just compatible with the Apple CarPlay. Um, let me see, put that away. Oh shit! Uh, I don't know what I did. Uh, cancel. All right. So pretty much, yeah. Like you know, he has the the WhatsApp app, the the Waze app, um, Spotify. Uh, you know, go to the Pandora. And you know, see what you have on the, the Pandora stations, you know, all your stations are there. So pretty much it just mirrors off, you know, your phone here, and you can see it on um on uh you know on the screen and stuff like that. So well, another thing I wanted to show um with this that I that I did read on the um on the reviews and stuff like that, that it has a built-in mic and even says it right here, mic. Well, I'm gonna have my my nephew stand outside and give me a call and I'm gonna talk to him and we're gonna see how it, you know, sounds and stuff like that. There it is, answer it. Yo, what's good, can you hear me? Yo, what's up, where you at? Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. Uh, what's up, Wait, can you hear me good or no? Yeah, you're good. Oh shit! All right. Um, I guess stay. Uh, I'm gonna stay in here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the phone real quick. Stay over there real quick. So we're on the other side of the line now. Um, he's over there gonna get into my car. My contact picture or contact emoji. What even is that? <laughs> but uh, yo, what's good? Let me put on speaker real quick. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh shit, I can hear you, or I can hear you pretty good. Go for it. Over here at the marketplace, what's going on? Oh shit, yeah, it doesn't doesn't sound too bad, honestly. So there you guys have that. Um, obviously, it's a pretty good mic, decently into the into the head unit. We're over here about to get some lunch at the marketplace, so we'll catch you guys right now. We are wrapping up the video guys there is my little review little installation not you know obviously not the best um and all of that but i mean i did my best to just you know show you guys what it did and what it's doing for me and honestly i do like the item and it's it's honestly gonna help uh, i guess hold it down you know for me for my system for you know for a while until i upgrade later down the road but um for sure man um Obviously today's video wasn't, you know, the most interesting action pack that, like they usually are with the car content. But you know, I hope I just helped, you know, some of my 99 throw for Mustang guys or anybody that's gonna upgrade to this exact unit or a similar unit because you know you can find it for only a hundred bucks, maybe even cheaper with the coupon or you know when it's a deal on a holiday or whatever like that for Amazon. You know, they have really good return policy if something goes wrong. But um, you know, if this helped you out, man, drop a like and comment and tell me, you know, how it's going for you guys. But um, I hope all you guys can help you guys out. Um, Oscar Tuvi here. Always stay tuned.